Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video we continue the theme of our previous now two videos I believe it is looking at this particular power automate flow which will capture attachments from a given email and store them into a designated folder. So if you haven't seen those two videos you might want to check out those now and then come back to this else we'll continue from where we left off. So just to briefly touch on where we are here. So the last video we had added this condition in to test for our desired uh, attachment. So if that attachment was called staff upload CSV, then it would go and it would save it into uh, the directory you see here, daily email. However, any other attachment on that email that wasn't called or called staff upload CSV, then it would still create that uh, file on SharePoint, but instead of calling it, saving it in daily email, it would save it in our other folder. So the last step in the process, what we want to do is how can we now you know, tidy up the emails that are coming into our inbox? So if we're to look in our inbox that we've now got on the screen, you can see we've only got two emails here now, but over time, as each day goes past, or each time you receive this email, these are obviously gonna to continue to build up. So we need a way of obviously maintaining them. So the last part of the process is once we've taken the attachment, we then want to move this email to a designated folder just to keep it all tidy as well. Because in the example that we're working with maybe an individual inbox or maybe a group email, and we've got maybe multiple flows like this working, obviously if we don't handle these emails, we're gonna just end up with a full inbox. So the first step I've done, as we can see if I expand inbox, is I've just created this uh, folder or subfolder for staff upload. It doesn't have to be a subfolder and it doesn't have to be all one word of text, but this is just what I've done for this example. So make sure you've created that folder and then you're good to go from the Outlook side of things. What we'll then do is go into edit our flow and we will add a new step. So what we're gonna be doing is adding new step at the bottom here. Uh, obviously you'll see what can sometimes be a bit misleading these different add actions. What those are is obviously this would be to add an action in our uh, yes column, should we call it? So obviously when the criteria is met, if there's something you only specifically want to do there. Alternatively, you could add an action here if you want to apply that action to each one of these attachments. However, we want this little condition to run and then once it's finished doing what it is, our next step, regardless of what the outcome, is then going to be this move email. So that's what we've done at the end, completely separate here. All we need to do is enter move email and hopefully I'll find it for us. Yeah, so this very first option we've got here and you'll see we've got a couple of parameters it wants us to populate. So I've got an error message there simply because it's just getting confused what account of mine it wants to use, but hopefully you won't see that error message there. So the first one, message ID, might seem a bit intimidating at first, but all you need to do once you select in that box, if you scroll down here for all the information that was captured in our very first stage of when a new email arrives, as you scroll down, you will see there's an option for message ID. So all nice and dynamic, we don't need to worry about too much there. And then when it comes to folder, when we select into here, all we need to do is go to this uh, folder icon here, the same as when we're saving a file to SharePoint, and you will see your folder available here. For, my, for me, in this particular scenario, mine's a subfolder, so I'll just need to go into this arrow of inbox. Uh, I think I've covered this before, but obviously if you select the folder, it will do just that. However, if you need to navigate, you just use the arrows and it'll take you where you need to go. So I'm just gonna select staff upload, once that's selected, all I need to then do is, it's it, all I need to do is go save. And that is the end of our process. So you could obviously at this point, if you wanted to then maybe round it off by sending an email to say that the action has happened, obviously you could do that. You can make these flows as long as you need to be. But I think this now just round, rounds off nicely the process that we're looking at. So once we've done that, obviously we've saved. I think I've just now saved it twice there for no reason, but yeah, we can see it's now saved. So the last thing to do is just to just test this flow. So let's go into manually and go test. And then what I will also do is if I go into emails, just for this purpose of this video, and let's just delete these two existing ones here, just so it's not confusing, just so we start with a nice clean inbox. Cool, so our flow is ready for us to send a dummy email. So let's go new message send myself an email. Uh, our subject line has to be daily attachment based on our criteria we have set. And let me just pull into here our three attachments like we did in the last scenario. So we can make sure everything is working. Okay, so we've got our three attachments. Let's hit send. So first important thing to note is we can see our new email has just been received into our inbox. 
So obviously that's where that's sitting at the moment. Um, what we'll do is we will just have a navigate away to uh, Power Automate, and we can see that that is all now running. Uh, obviously, once this is all saved and this is a process going, you don't need to go into it. This would just run in the background for you. So you'd just be a recipient of obviously seeing the new uh, attachments being saved. But we're just going into these processes just so we can watch it as it develops. And we can see, great, everything's worked. We've got the three ticks against the three different stages here. It's all ran successfully. We've got a nice green mark. Let's go into our SharePoint uh, folder. So at the moment, we've gone into Other. Uh, obviously, we'll we'll just go back to daily email. Nothing's there at the moment, so let's just do a quick refresh on the page. Oh, that happened to beat me to it. And you can see we've got our staff upload file here for the 25th of August, that's perfect. Our other folder contains those two other files attached to the email because obviously they didn't meet our criteria, but we just decided to capture them. And then the last thing is if we go back to our email, we can now see, sort of, sort of see it there, but it was then updating. Our inbox is now empty. Uh, but if we do go into staff upload, we can see that there is a email there, um, obviously with the or the originating email which our attachment came on. So you could now obviously, again, depending on how detailed you need to be, write a little process in there that marks this email as read. Uh, but I think depending on obviously the volume of emails, automated emails you've got coming in, uh, it's quite handy sometimes, and especially in the scenario being once a day, to leave it as unread. That way you just have an indication of knowing that something new has come in. Obviously when you mark them as read, yes, it's still gonna archive them, but you, I don't know. It just depends where your comfort is if you want to have to be able to acknowledge that a new email has come in, should that be a scenario. But again, you can update and uh, tailor these flows as you require. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, and if you did, please don't forget to give the video a like because not only is it greatly appreciated by me and uh, maybe indicates more videos that you'd like to see, it does help that all important YouTube algorithm. If this is your first time finding the channel or this you've watched our videos before and haven't yet subscribed, please can I just ask you to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification button. Obviously, again, greatly appreciated by me if you can help in increase our subscriber count so more people can see our content. And of course, the bell notification will mean that you are notified of more of our videos as they come out in the future and as always if you do have any questions about the content of this video do just drop a comment below and i will try and get back to you as soon as possible so thank you very much thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video